Hey, what's up everyone? This is Channing, the owner of Bayou Mortgage. In today's video, I wanted to share with you four tips to survive this crazy real estate market. If you are shopping for a home, there is no doubt that you are hearing and seeing all of the stuff that's going on. Interest rates are rapidly increasing and there are a lot a lot of people that are getting very nervous and very worried so in today we're going to talk about these four tips i think these will help you to understand whether you should buy whether you should hold off and if you are going to buy some things that you need to do so the first tip the very very first tip is to avoid buying a house that is more than you can afford right so what we're seeing in the market is prices are elevated and interest rates are rising and so there is a lot of pressure for you to spend more money every month right unless you're paying cash then you're probably not watching these videos uh spend more money every month than what you can afford to pay uh every month and so we've talked about this before that a good rule of thumb if you're purchasing a home is to not allow the mortgage to exceed 25 to 30 percent of your take-home pay if you're married or, or you know more more than one person in your household and you're both contributing to the mortgage then both salaries or however that breaks out but no more than 25 to 30 percent of your take-home pay is going to be a good rule to follow to make sure that you don't get yourself in a bond but you still need to do a budget right you still need to make sure that even at that point that you can afford it so do not spend more than you can afford and so what i'm seeing right now in the mortgage world in the mortgage space is adjustable rate mortgages are kind of making a comeback and so adjustable rate mortgages are mortgages that are not fixed they are only fixed for a certain period of time and then as the name says they adjust and so what we're seeing is very very low rates we're seeing this from some banks and some credit unions for the first or second year there, there are two one arms or there are two six arms and what that means is that the rate this low teaser rate is only fixed for a year or two and so maybe it's three percent four percent whatever it is if you're in a situation and, they, and you run across that, what you have to make sure is that you can not only afford the house at the low rate, but at the rate that it could adjust to, because I believe they can go up to up to two points more than, than what you currently have, 2% more. So if it's three, it could be five. So you have to be very careful. It's not that these loans are inherently bad, but when they are used to help get people houses that they otherwise couldn't afford, that's when it's dangerous. That's when you need to look out. And I'm actually thinking about doing an entire video on adjustable rate mortgages to kind of explain them a little bit better. So hopefully we'll be we'll be seeing that soon. All right. Tip number two. Tip number two, though. So in that vein, as long as you are buying a house that you can afford at the current rate, you need to think short term about your mortgage. OK, don't think of this as a mortgage that you're going to keep for the next 30 years, even though they are 30 year mortgages. Because most people that finance a home right now are going to refinance that home as soon as the rates come down, which we're, we're likely to see, right? Because the economy is headed for a recession, there's no doubt. I don't think we're headed for a housing crash yet. There's still way too much inventory. Lenders are way more strict on underwriting criteria than they were in the last housing crash and people were lying there's you don't see the ninja loans right the no income no document loans um so so temper those expectations because we i don't think we'll see that but you do need to make sure that you think short term because you can refinance this now of course you need to keep your credit good you need to pay your bills on time you do all these things but if you keep yourself in a good situation regardless of your loan program when rates fall and we believe they will, even in 08, right? Even when things get high, they got low. Usually rates get low in a recession. You're going to have the opportunity to refinance. You're going to have the opportunity to get that lower rate once it comes. If you do like an FHA or a USDA loan, a lot of times you can refinance those two loans, even or a VA, um, without even having to order another appraisal. Okay? So you're going to have the opportunity. You need to think short term about your interest rate. Make sure you can afford it, number one. But number two, think short term. Understand that rates are going to come down at some point and you need to be in an opportunity to do that because don't put off building equity now. And so you have this opportunity to build equity in a home versus wasting it on rent. If you've, if, if you've determined that you're going to buy, think short term. Number three, don't let anyone pressure you. Sorry, my watch, is, my watch is listening to me. So uh, don't let anyone pressure you. So I'm seeing, like I pulled up YouTube a while ago 
and typed in housing market. And then of course the first thing is crash. And these guys have like 280,000 views, 300,000 300,000 views, and they're like they're no, they're not they don't know. Okay? They're not because you know why they don't know because no one knows. No one knows what the market is ultimately going to do. We can look at signs, we can see that we're probably already in a recession even though it's not been officially announced. We can see that things are going to contract. We can we can certainly check all these things out. But don't let anyone pressure you to buy a home or not buy a home. You have to make that decision on your own. And most people, it's still a great time to buy a house because people bought houses even when rates were 20%. So if you're determined and you have the need to buy a home, you have the budget, you can afford it, and there is something that that you know you need to do it. Your lease is going to be up soon because rent's going to go up too, right? So if you need to buy a home, buy one. If you don't want to buy a home because you can't afford it or you're not comfortable with it, then don't do it, right? Don't let anybody pressure you into doing this. And then finally, number four, I would highly suggest that you take what the media says. I actually wrote, avoid the media. That's like impossible to do. I would highly suggest that you take what the media says and just completely let it go in one ear and out the other, okay? I want you to understand that the media's job, which is why these videos that talk about housing crashes on YouTube get 300,000 views, the media's job is to sell clicks. Their job is to get you to click on their article, to read their blog or their article so that you can see their advertisers, right? That is the entire purpose of the media. So don't panic. Panic makes recessions worse and have a level head. Rates are high, but they're not high historically. Now, I'm not talking about over the last 10 years. I'm talking about over the last 50. They are high. There is a strain. There are issues in the market. But don't panic. Avoid the panic media. Avoid the dooms, the, the naysayers and the doomsdays and all this stuff. You know, have a level head. We are probably in a recession. The thing is that we're already experiencing it, right? So we're already experiencing the negative impacts impacts of inflation. Gas is six bucks a gallon or five bucks a gallon wherever you are. You know, you, you, everything is more expensive. I went to go buy a pack of ribs at the store the other day because my son loves to eat ribs. And they used to be $12, now they're $24. They were actually $8 a couple years ago. And now they're $24, right? Pack of lunch meats, $10. Bread, you know, all of these things, all of these necessities are increasing. So while everyone's doing the doom and gloom, you got to remember we're actually living in it right now. So we're already living in the effects of inflation. And the recession will actually should help cool some of that off. And then I want to end the video. And I know I move fast, so sorry, guys. But I want to end the video on a final note. And that is... This is going to create an opportunity for those of you who are dedicated and, and, and definitely want to buy a home. You can afford it. You know, you've, you've gone through, the, through everything and you know, hey, like, yeah, I need to buy a home. Because the rising rates, the insurance issues in Louisiana are going to make price drops occur more frequently. We're already seeing that more houses are, are receiving price drops than they were before. That means less buyers are going to be entering the market, so you can make an offer on a home. They're going to sit for a little longer. You can make an offer. You don't have to overpay for the home. There's going to be less competition. So if you're in the market to buy, it's going to get good, and it's already getting there. So I hope these tips help you. If you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, I'm, I'm always happy to help. Our team is here. We're happy to help. Like the channel. Subscribe, please. We are committed to putting out home buyer education to help you and people like you who want to purchase a home. Again, I'm Channing. Thanks so much for checking it out, and I'll see you next week.